I'm Peter Carr and we're going to be doing a segmental grip arch. We're going to look at marking the skew backs and laying the voussoirs. We're going to lay the first ring now over the arch centre. The important part of laying a segmental arch is correctly marking and cutting the skew back. There are only a few arch types that have a skew back that is cut back on an angle well above horizontal. They are a flat arch, also called a jack arch, a camber arch, a segmental arch. Arches such as the Roman arch or semicircular arch, Gothic arches, do not require usually a brick to be cut. Another arch that may require an angled skew back is a parabolic arch. Now, as you can see when the first voussoir is laid, the brick that's laid into that voussoir will be cut back. That angle there is the skew back. The cut type is, or the brick, is often referred to as a cant brick, C-A-N-T. Hold that first voussoir temporarily in position while the bevel is set at the correct angle. Then once set, it's simply a matter of transferring that angle onto the brick, marking it and cutting it. That brick is then laid back into position and the first ring of voussoirs can be then laid around or over the introdos of the arch. It's also important to remember that gauge will have to be marked over the arch centre. And finish with a key brick in the middle of the arch. Be accurate with the marking and the cutting as it's critical that the creeping joint is kept neat over the top of the second ring. If only one ring was being laid, then a distance of 120 millimeters could be measured back along that skew back angle before being cut in the other direction over the first ring. On this occasion, however, we'll be laying two rings, in which case the brick that's just been laid will need to be cut. These bricks laid around the haunch of the arch are being laid temporarily. so that it can be marked and then cut and laid back into position.
Sometimes it may be necessary to number the cuts so that you lay them correctly in back into the right position. With so few cuts, however, should not be necessary to number those cuts. When the first ring is laid over, it's very important that the voussoirs are laid with a full joint. Once the arsenal has been taken out, there is considerable pressure placed on each voussoir as the tensile forces are transferred or shifted into a compression that moves towards either side of the arch bricks. In effect, the abutments are taking that pressure. If the joints between the voussoirs are not kept full, then there is some potential for cracking between each of the bricks. Depending on the tightness of the curve or the radius used to mark out the arch template or arch center, it may be easy to use a compass or a set of dividers to mark gauge around the intrados. That is rather than a ruler or tape. It's estimated that gauge would be about 80 millimeters to allow for a tight joint between the intrados or the inside edge of the arch and th thus allowing the bigger joint around the extra dos of the arch between the voussoirs. Remembering that this particular arch that's being laid is not a gauged arch and in fact is a rough arch or an ungauged arch. The bricks are not cut with the tapered edge or the V-shape but the, the joints, the perp joints between the bricks take up that V joint. If the bricks are rolling at all or the voussoirs are rolling at all over the arch center it may be necessary to use small wedges under the voussoirs to keep face alignment plumb. Obviously there on the left hand side of the arch this has been necessary. The voussoirs need also to stay perpendicular to the striking point of the arch curve. This will avoid lipping occurring between each voussoir the simplest way to, to keep a check on that is to make sure that the middle section of the brick or the voussoir being laid is laid and touching the arch center. It's good practice to check that the last two or three bricks fit by holding them in there dry so that you can either open up or tighten up slightly in the last couple to be laid. In the next video we'll look at laying the second ring of the arch and then cutting into the creeping joint.